at least you're on time for a change. Yes, miss. Well, Andy, I'm still thinking about it. As it is, you're in detention tomorrow and Friday, so make sure you let your father know. Yes, miss. But I am that far away from writing to your dad and having you excluded for a week. See if that'll teach you. Like I said, I'm still thinking about it. And where do you think you've been, madam? Sorry, miss. Urgent phone call, was it? It switched off, miss. Uh It is now. Right, you can join my friend Andrew in detention tomorrow lunchtime. Of lunchtime? Did I not say? That's not fair. Detention just because my phone went off. If you hadn't brought it with you in the first place, Katie Adamant, you wouldn't be in trouble, would you? And you, lad, don't push it. Right, I'm busy, so you two get yourselves off home and try and stay out of bother till tomorrow. We wouldn't want you to miss detention, would we? What's up with you? Are you walking? I'm going to have to know, aren't I? Our buses are probably gone. Whose class are you in? Shut up. I wouldn't mind if I was sick. Or always getting in bother. Just because my phone went off. So which one am I, then? How do you mean? Well, thick or just bad? I don't mean you. Just the rest of them. We're just misunderstood. It's like that film, Natural Born Killers. Yeah, right. You haven't told me what got put in for yet, anyway. My fags. Miss Chitlin caught me with a load of year sevens trying to buy him off me. Paying the price for your entrepreneurial capitalist exploits. Maybe. Two nights no lunchtime detention, I say, definitely. No, I mean, maybe, if I knew what you were on about. 